In this video, we're gonna talk about the GNU Money, a directional twin freestyle board that's on a budget. This is a board that's playful and forgiving, but still has snap. You're gonna notice that this board actually can pop with, and a lot of that has to do with the camber profile in it. Another cool thing about this board is the graphic. If you're a fan of Bob's Burgers, you're probably gonna notice some homages to it in this, and that's because it's got the same artist working on it. Are you seriously waving around will work for food sign? Oh, can't lie, saving for a hooker. Well, okay, can't fault you on that one, John. Send money to John, he needs to buy a hooker. Oh wait, no, that'd be pretty woman. He needs to rent a hooker. That way we don't have another mouth to feed. This board features Mervyn's C2E camber profile, or C2 elliptical. This is another tweak on the C2 camber profile. So you have that reverse camber between the feet, and then a more mellow elliptical camber under foot. It's going to make it easier to skate pop with it, but it's not going to be as aggressive. You don't have to load it up pretty much at all, really, to get pop with this board. It's just a more forgiving C2 camber profile. So the Money is one of those boards that's not quite full-blown jib noodle, but it's not middle of the road. It's soft, but it's still got snap to it. There's a little bit of rigidity underfoot, but not a lot. You're going to notice overall soft tips, soft between the feet, a lot of torsional flex. You can twist and flex this board any which way you want. And when it comes to stability, you're just going to get rid of it. This board, you'll feel everything with. There's going to be a lot of chatter. You're going to get knocked around. It's a board where you're going to be riding with your knees bent and just really flexing yourself and absorbing anything and everything in its path. Money, 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 money. There's two ways to pop with this board. You can load it up and snap, or you can be a little more laid back and skate-like with it. Personally, I like to be skate-like with it. I feel like you get a better response than if you load it up, but that's me. There's ample pop in this board. It's not the snappiest, but it's good for what it does. Now, when it comes to jumps, I would definitely keep it to the small medium line. You could go hit the big stuff, if you're feeling comfortable with that softer flex just isn't conducive for stable landings on bigger things. This is a board that's meant for just playing around and progressing with. This board is 100% at home buttering and jibbing. There's a huge sweet spot in the tips. You've got that reverse camber between the feet and a softer flex. You can twist and bend this board any way you want. Get out on the tips, just really leverage it. It's not gonna fight you. There's not gonna be a lot of snap and response unless you want it and you engage it. When you're jibbing, it'll get sideways. It'll get on its tips. It doesn't matter. It locks into presses with ease. You can manipulate this board how you want, when you want. Only once did I overpower this board when I was driving it through a car. Other than that, it's actually really quick and nimble. It locks in, it holds an edge. You can really push it out of a carve. It's a board for snapping in and out of turns. It's a board for laying Euro trenches if you want to, getting low, you know. You can do just about anything on this board when it comes to carving. And you're not really gonna hit the limitations unless you push it way beyond where you think it actually would stop. I definitely recommend this board for someone that's park centric, maybe like a solid intermediate rider that's progressing, doesn't mind that there's a little bit of setback to it, wants softer play to it. This is just a fun all around fuck around board. I enjoyed it. It was kind of an homage back to directional twin boards to me. I had a blast on this thing. I love the shape of it. It's just one of those boards that's snappy when you need it to be, but just very playful and you can manipulate it how you want. Pound for pound, dollar for dollar, cents for cents. Let's see what other boards are comparable to the GNU money. The Degenerati Model 1. Yes, basic. The Rosnal Templar. The Nitro SMP. The Libtech Terrain Wrecker. The K2 Raygun. All right, so now you've decided what snowboard you're going to get and you're going to decide where you're going to buy it. If you're shopping local, awesome. Slap your local shop guys a high five and tell them they're killing it. But for those of you that are buying online, why don't you shop from one of the links we have down below. That way you support us and you get a deal on your snowboard. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below. That way you're getting a notification and I'll see you guys in another video.